Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Blubber Butter. Uh, it's been a while since I've played this. I realized that uh, thanks to uh, Hotline Miami 2 and uh, uh, Far Sky. I haven't done, um, done this one very much, but here I am back to this one so I can finish it. And it's really cool. Uh, Fraps does make it play a little slowly, though, and the game's already kind of slow moving game. And the last mission, I don't know if you remember because I don't know when you guys are watching this, but in the last one, uh, Mitzi was talking to. Uh, is her name Suzanne? I can't remember the main character's name. That's a bad thing. Uh, maybe it's Susan. I think it was Susan. Uh, anyway, uh, she was telling about how her boyfriend died. He gave her an ultimatum because he talked to the Eye of Death, or Eye of Adam, who is a who is somebody who convinces others to commit suicide. And uh, the, her boyfriend gave her an ultimatum and said, "Meet him here at eight o'clock so they can die together," or something like that. So anyway, here we are. Lots of cars. This is an awfully crowded place to be committing suicide. I thought she said it was empty. What does that say? I is that say I have Adam? Stop! Oh no! Oh, that's oh no! Oh. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. He loved you so much. He couldn't bear the thought of living without you. And that guy, the Eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know I would. I'm not sure if I should believe that you only want to talk to him. But hey, that's none of my business. I wouldn't know what I'd do if this happened to me. Good to know, but I really just want to talk. I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, funny part is that he actually told me where he lives. Uh, he wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? Well, That's sketch. This kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet. It's usually a form of extreme bullying, psychological cruelty. Well, Those who are clever enough always. say don't feed the troll. Don't talk to them. It, it only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. I wouldn't call that trolling. I, Adam is no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. That's not a troll. That's way worse than trolling. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't believe me at first. But trolls are always hungry. He's not a I troll. I to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. I wish he'd given you his door number, though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. Okay, let's just go through these the conversations, I guess. Windows. Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So we posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door, and that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with clear mind, to prepare for it, to embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. It sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. Took me three months to track him down. Technically, I don't now think it's illegal, so but it does sound close. kind of like a. I can almost smell that fucker. Sounds like uh, some sort of uh, uh, cult. Some sort of cult. What? Yeah, this will help us figure out who it is. Products? That's well, probably why we went to the place. I'm not sure if you want to know that. Why not? I get it. You don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking sewers. No, Ms. Ashworth. No, I, I didn't mean I didn't it mean like to that. skip that, sorry. Okay. Maybe to some extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with recovering. You've only just come back from the hospital. Whatever Except it that was that made you we're do not it, able to die. You proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. That's fair enough. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I? Huh. 
I don't actually know which response I would use. I want to say I learned my lesson, except it's not really a lesson. You're physically incapable of dying. Oh, that makes sense. That's that's a true response, and I would say that, but uh, coming from Susan Ashworth, that would just sound like moping. I've learned my lesson. Dying is not for me. I'd really like to believe you, Miss Ashworth. I will need you to promise me that you will never try this method. All right. I can promise you that I will never try this method. Or any other method, for that matter. Been there, done that. Didn't enjoy it much. Do you believe me now? Yeah. I think I do. Good. I'm glad you said that, you know. Hmm. The recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Any good housewife can make it in the blood. That's what I was thinking. But that's why they went here. Now we're back to the present when I shot myself in the head. By the way, there's an achievement you can get called uh, Monsters in the Fog. Which uh, I really thought I would get. I don't know if I had that in the game or not. By being blind and walking to the right, I really thought that would give it to me. But apparently it didn't, so... I don't know. I'll have to replay it to figure out how I get that achievement. But I really thought that would be it. Cat grabber. Might as well take it. And video games, you can never have too much shit. <gasps> that scared me. Sneak it. I want to examine. Strange noises coming out of this. I'm probably going to die here. Oh, it's probably going to kill. <gasps> Can I creep? In video games, I've noticed, if you stop the, uh... If you stop the walking animation before you make a full step, you don't usually make a footstep. Look at Gunlocker. If only I could reach one of them, but they're all right next to him, he'd wake up for sure. I could kill him. He's fast asleep. Maybe he's drunk or on drugs. Regardless, I have no choice in a fight with this guy. No chance in a fight with this guy. He's fast and strong and insane. But he's not the sharpest tool in the box. I will have to use my wits to get rid of him. This must be his private room. He sits here all day playing with his guns while ugly Betty upstairs cooks his food. What a charming couple. But do these... Ooh. There's a cold draft coming through this broken window. Awesome. That was useful information. So what happens if I wake him up? Oh. Shouldn't get too close. He might wake up. Oh, huh, that's... I guess... Fair enough. Let's go ahead and save here. I didn't save that long ago. Uh, crazy cat dash eating lady. I think that's what they were doing. They were eating cats. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? It was something important, I thought. What was I going to say? Something to do with this room. That dude. I can't remember. I'll think of it later, I think. There's a noise. Where's that? Are these just ambience? Take a knife. Sorry, I'm trying to be quiet. I'm really scared here. I want to save again. Oh, uh, uh, oh. Okay, that is just ambience, otherwise it wouldn't save while it was... A 
I don't need to hide at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to have to hide. There's something behind the painting, obviously. This is a cutscene. I'm not controlling this. What's going on? Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. Yeah, well, let's go away. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. What? Is my foreshadowing? This reminds me of something. What, dying? The first thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. Oh. You know the kind. Oh, I'm going to smoke. I'm going to gas them. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. Well, kind that's strong enough to literally kill you? Huh. Jeez. What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. That's... Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fall. Oh, that's how I get the achievement. Fine. I'll go on my own, then. This is how I get kidnapped. And that was the promise I broke. I promised I would never commit suicide. Even though it was a valid reason. AKA, I was actually needed to come back to life. Again. Uh, oh, I have to go to different floors. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's save again. Apartment crap. I don't know which floor I'm on. Oh, no, I'm on three and... Uh, let's go to seven and eight. Oh. I have to go to down the ground floor. Well, that's an awfully large apartment complex considering it looks really trashy. It's outside this way. Nope. Okay. Examine. Open. No mail for Susan Ashworth. Okay. So that's the dude. We're supposed to go that way. Monsters in the fog, right? <gasps> or maybe not. No achievement. Okay. Starling, though. Bloody fog. Can't see a thing. Uh, Someone could be getting murdered two feet away. Is he talking to me or is he. Notice. But still, it could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? Back away. Always look on the right side, they say, and I always do. Back away, back away, back away, back away. Not a talkative type, are you? Oh, no, he is talking to me. What's your name, sweetheart? I might as well tell him. Susan. That's a lovely name. I only know that the outcome like is. It. There's nothing I can do to change it. You see, I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. Ah, and a bloody neighbor. Some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. A crazy cat lady called Susan. I was. Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have told her my name. No, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart. But uh. I'm taking you for a ride. Okay. Uh, let's save again. Can I save an old file? I would really rather not write a new one each time. Okay, oh well. 
uh, back, I guess. I should have checked the time before I started. I'll just keep recording, I guess, and uh, see how much longer I can go. Oh my. Oh my. This looks bad. That's a body in there. Uh, it's gonna be me. Oh, no, just a person. So they're murdering people and hiding the bodies by disintegrating them, right? Examine corpse. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the creepiest. Sorry, remove bath club. Okay, so I can't take the key yet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Use. Okay, look at bathtub. Now use. Got it. Uh, save again. I know I'm saving super often, guys. Sorry. Key. I just, uh, don't know how this one's gonna go. Well, go away. Go away. Don't come after me, creepy old lady. Oh. Uh, let's save again. Outside. Why don't I just walk this way? Can I leave? Pull out. Uh. Blunt knife. Use. There you go. Not sure what the brick's gonna be for, but whatever. Maybe for a distraction of some sort. Oh, the lady's in that thing, isn't it? That's the shed. What's gonna happen here? What's going on? I'm really confused. Is this the monsters in the fog? Am I just looping back, or is there actually something here? Damn fog. Oh, nope, Can't there's something here. I'm going. Well, I, just got, I guess I'm gonna just keep going. Just going for a lovely stroll out in the fog. That was not... I, that sounded like I was making a poorly imitated uh, British accent. That was not the case. I was literally just being silly. So, sorry if that was offensive to anybody. I guess if you're offended by that, I want to apologize, but at the same time, I wouldn't care, because that's just silly to get offended about. Anyway, I wasn't... I think I'm just walking in circles. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. It's the same freaking trees each time. At least I thought they were. I, mean, actually, I should probably check to make sure that's actually true. Oh, there was a bird that time. <gasps> oh, no. That's bad. There's no escape from this place. Maybe I should just get back to the house. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Okay, well, I've done this for an excessively long amount of time, and, uh, does not appear to be anything there, so I guess I'm heading back. If there was an achievement there, I guess I'm just not get out for it. I don't have the patience. Or maybe I did get the achievement, I just didn't see it. Examine. That's where the draft is. I didn't see. Inside, I can see my kidnapper fast asleep on the chair. Can I throw this at him? Bad idea. I'm sure I can find a better use for it. Oh, fair enough. Gladys unconsciously brought me through here. The window, I can see small animal mess and blood everywhere, but the back door is locked. I wonder if I spare, can find a spare key somewhere. Gee, I just happen to have a spare key. <laughs> I can open the door. What a horrible stench. 
What's this? It seems like an idiot does everything his creepy wifey from hell tells him to. He brought his gas mask here. I'll take it. He won't need it ever again when I'm done here. This is for when I gas the place, right? Driver's side window. I can see he left a phone in the driver's seat. Maybe I should call for app if I can get a hold of it somehow. That would be this. Let me save, because I don't know what's going to happen, and I've done this for a while. I'm, I, I should probably find a stopping point, but at this point, we're in the middle of a flow, so I feel like a longer video fits better. That's just me, though. Uh, bricks. Okay. There we go. They're going to hear that, though, and they're going to come running, so this might have killed me. Let's find another way. Take mobile phone. Okay. Examine. But right now it might be useful. The battery is fully charged. All I have to do is dial a number. Make a call. Uh, call Susan oh, Slip. No. No, no, no. Damn it. I can't remember my own number. What? I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. How do you not know your number? Okay. Um. Call police. They're not going to answer. I'm going to have no service out here because it's in the middle of nowhere. Police emergency line. How can I help you? Oh. My name is Susan Ashworth. I've been kidnapped. Again. These people are crazy. They're going to eat me alive. I don't know what to do. Please. You've got to help me. Please. What happens to the eater? How would you resurrect your yourself? Address and postcode, ma'am. What? It's irrelevant. I've been kidnapped. I'm not there. I'm afraid I need your home address to confirm your identity, Miss Ashworth. Wow. It's flat 412 Helen Street, EX 4422DL. Okay? Now please do something. For God's sake. Is she actually scared? Calm down, Mom. Who's kidnapped? Don't tell me to calm down. I don't know who they are. They didn't tell me their names. No, but wait. He's an animal control guy. Drives a white van. He's got a wife. She poured bleach down my face. Bitch. They're <laughs> they're just mad. Won't stop at nothing. Won't stop at nothing is double negative. Away, they will stop at something. There's this fog, and I have no idea where we are. You have been kidnapped by a <laughs> what? <married laughs> this has got to be the worst correct. cop in the world. No, not just any married couple. Don't you understand what I'm saying? These people are fucking serial killers. There's blood and bones everywhere. I mean. Some of it is cat's blood, but there's human blood too. I told you, they eat stray cats and dogs, and they eat people. They're sick. They make me sick. Is this a case of family disturbance? What? What? No. Did you know this married couple prior to the incident? <laughs> oh, Jesus, did I say anything at all that would make you think that? Calm down, please. I'm only trying I'm to help sure you. I'm sure you are, and you're doing I a fantastic need to job. Establish some facts first before a police car can be dispatched. Look, just track this number, and you'll find where I am. You can do that, yeah? They always do it on films. I bet you've got my number displayed on the screen already. Just do me a favor and send a police car, will you? Of course, Mom. Stay on the line. <laughs> Oh, did you witness cruelty to animals? Say yes. What? You mentioned cat's blood. Was this married couple cruel to animals? If so, I will put you through to animal welfare services. What in this the area. hell? Would you prefer that, Mark? Are you joking? No, I would not. Okay, please hold the line. <laughs> okay, is that it? Am I still on the line? Hello? That was like the worst cop call ever. Yes, of course I'm still here. According to our records, you've recently discharged yourself uh, from the hospital. Just Are hang you out. currently undergoing treatment for any mental health problem? 
No, it's not like that. Miss Ashworth, please listen to me very carefully. I can connect you with the on-duty doctor at the RCW Hospital's mental health unit where you received care recently. They can help you. You just have to talk to them and explain what's on your mind. I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> so, that you're just not going to help me? We are not qualified to provide psychiatric help, ma'am. It's best if you contact your doctors. Would you like me to give you their number in case you prefer to call them yourself? Oh, don't bother. <laughs> I'll take care of it myself. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Well then, that was a waste of time. So, what is this for then? Can I answer? No one was calling. Okay, so I have to keep that, I guess. Obvious that was important somehow. But apparently you don't remember your own home address. Um, let me look at this. Street stall at night. So, uh, that was a waste of time. Sorry, no, that's not a real sound. What's over in this side? Radio. Window. Sofa. Why would I sit? Yeah, okay. I was wondering why they gave me the option to sit. Oh, look. There's a bloody, like, literally bloody. That looks like blood, right? Oh. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's just ambience. Oh. Really? Let's take the cloth. Okay, finally got that. And now I'll use the cloth on the other one. I feel like lighting up this room is a bad idea, though. I guess that's just me. Also, may I point out that the people are pretty oblivious here. There's like... Tromping and stomping all throughout here. Let me save here. Tromping and stomping all throughout the house. Uh, light bulbs. And uh, they like just don't hear it. Oh, it automatically turns on? Like I said, I feel like that's a bad thing. But I guess I have to. And I also feel like she's going to be sitting right there. Oh, there's a phone. Sticker with the number says... Oh. What did that mean? Oh. Oh, 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 I have to call their phone number. So that the lady will go there. So I'm going to hide under the table and call the number so somebody has to go answer it. That makes sense. And then it's going to be a horrifying game of hide and seek. Because I don't know when this game's going to flip things on me. They have that way of like hiding the next screen until you move over. That's something they're going to do if they're preparing for jump scares. How come I can't grab another knife? Alright. Not gonna hide under the table. Oh, you will? Okay. Phone. Make a call. That number. Now I need to hide immediately. There you go. Hide. Hide, lady. Hide, hey. Hide, hide, hide. Get under. Go under. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Go under. Go under. Go under. Go under. Go under. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh. Oh, she's so creepy. So, so, so creepy. Oh.
Okay. Okay. Here is a excellent time to stop. Hide and seek. All right, guys. In the next mission, we're going to be uh, hopefully escaping from them and probably killing them while hiding from them. Anyway, I'm going to have to edit a lot out. It's really slow pace, so uh, I have to go do a lot of work for that. So I apologize for that. It'll probably be longer than usual. But at this point, you already know that because you're watching it. With that, I'm going to stop. You'll have a great day. I, Mr. Blubberbutter. See you later. Bye.